What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply exponents that have different bases and different exponents, okay? Now, the only way you can possibly do this is if you can rewrite one of your numbers over here to match the other one in a certain way, okay? So they either have to have the same base, right? You have to rewrite one of them so it has the same base as the other one, or they have to have the same exponent. So in this case, we have four raised to the fifth power times two raised to the third power, right? But if you notice something, four, right, four, that's the same thing as two squared, right? So we can rewrite four right here as two squared, okay? And it's still being raised to this fifth power right here, okay? And then we're still multiplying by two to the third power, right, times two, to the third power, okay? But if you notice something now, we have the same base, right? We have a two here and a two here. So that's exactly what we're looking for, okay? Something like that, because now we can simplify this, okay? So uh, first of all, let's simplify this thing right here. So we have two squared raised to the fifth power, right? So how do you simplify a power raised to another power? Well, you just multiply those together, okay? So really, we're gonna have two, right? 2 raised to the 10 power right here, right? Because 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So let's rewrite this. So we're going to actually have 2 raised to the 10th power, okay? And then we're still multiplying right there times 2 raised to the third power, right? So times 2 raised to the third power. And now how do we multiply these together? Well, whenever you have two numbers and they have the same base, all you have to do is add the exponents together, okay? So first of all, since we have a two here and a two here, you just keep the two. And then the only thing you have to do again is just add these exponents together. So 10 plus three, that's equal to 13, right? So then that would be your answer right there. Two to the 13th power, okay? Or if you wanted an actual number, you could plug this into your calculator, two raised to the 13th power, and it would be equal to 8,192. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try just a few more examples and then I think you're gonna start catching on to the pattern. All right, so here's our next example. So we have three to the eighth power times 27 to the negative second power. So again, the goal is to either get the same base or get the same exponents, right? But here, if you notice, uh, 27 right there, we can rewrite that as three cubed, right? And then we would have the same base, right? Because a three and a three, right? So let's rewrite 27 as three cubed. So here, uh, here, let's write this one first, three to the eighth power, right? We still have that. And then we're gonna multiply that. So 27, rewrite it as three cubed right here. And then we still have our exponent up here, the negative two, right? Negative two. Okay, cool. So we got what we were trying to get to, right? We got the same base right there. Okay, so now we can simplify this. All right, so first of all, we have three to the eighth power, okay, three to the eighth power times this thing right here, okay? So again, we have a power raised to another power, right? So how do you deal with that? You just multiply them together. So three times negative two is equal to negative six, right? So then here, we're gonna have three raised to the negative sixth power. Okay, and then this would be equal to, again, we have the same base, right? Got a three there, got a three there, so just keep the three. And then when we're multiplying these two together with the exponents, you just have to add them together. Okay, so eight plus negative six is equal to positive two. So then we're gonna have a positive two right there. So then your answer right here would be three raised to the second power, or three squared. And three squared is simply equal to nine, right? So either one of these would be your answer right there. Okay, so let's just do a few more problems that are just gonna be a little bit harder. All right, so here is the next problem. So here we have nine raised to the negative fifth power times 81 raised to the second power, okay? So again, the first thing you wanna do is see if you can rewrite the bases somehow so they match up with each other. And one thing you can see here is 81 we can rewrite 81 as nine squared, right? And then you see we would have the same base, right? Got a nine there, got a nine there. So that's what we're gonna do here. 
So first of all, we got nine raised to the negative fifth power. So let's write that down times. Okay. And now 81, I'm going to rewrite it as nine squared. Okay. So let's rewrite it as nine squared. Okay. And then we still have this uh, two over here. So bring that over also. So again, you can see we have the same base, which is what we're looking for, right? So now that means we can simplify this. So again, first of all, let's write this one down. 9 raised to the negative fifth power. And then here, remember, we have an exponent raised to another exponent. So in order to simplify that, all you have to do is multiply those together. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4, right? So here we're going to have 9 raised to the fourth power. Okay, so right times times 9 raised to the fourth power. 9 raised to the fourth power, right? So we got the same base, right? So that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to keep the base. And then since we're multiplying here, in order to multiply these two together, you really just add them together, right? So negative 5 plus 4, that's equal to negative 1, right? So we're going to have 9 raised to the negative first power right there. All right, now the last thing we have to do is simplify this negative exponent right here, the, the negative 1, okay? Now, whenever you have a negative exponent like this, all you have to do is put this in a fraction underneath 1, okay? So we're going to put this thing in a fraction underneath 1. So basically, this goes in the denominator. And the only difference is, instead of the exponent being negative, it's going to turn into a positive, okay? And then you always just put a 1 on top. Okay, if you need some extra help with negative exponents, I'll link a video to that in the card above, but we'll just keep going with this problem right here. Now, whenever you raise a number to the first power, it doesn't change it, right? So 9 to the first power is really just 9. So really, we could rewrite this as simply 1 over 9, okay? So then that would be your answer right there, positive 1 ninth, right? So let's just try one last example. And for these, instead of changing the base, we're going to have to change the exponents. So here we have 7 squared times 3 to the fourth power, all right? So as you can see, we can't really rewrite either of our bases to match up the other one, right? And that's going to be common when both of your bases are prime, like both of these are, okay? So the other thing we can look at is changing the exponents somehow. And in this case, we can do that because... 4, we can basically break that up into 2 times 2, right? And then it would match the 2 that we have over here. Okay, so 3 to the 4th, so let me show you how we would do that. 3 to the 4th power, that's the same thing as 3 squared squared, okay? Because when you have an exponent raised to another exponent, how do you simplify those? Well, you just multiply those together, right? So 2 times 2 that's equal to 4, which is what we have right there, right? So all we're doing is replacing the 4 with a 2 times 2. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. So first of all, let's write uh, down our 7 squared right there, and then we're going to multiply that by the 3 squared squared. Okay, and again, we can do this because, again, 2 times 2, that's equal to 4. So again, we're just replacing this 4. We just broke it up into 2 times 2, okay? But this helps us out a lot because, as you can see, now we have the same exponent, right? So since we have that same exponent right there, now we can simplify this. Okay, so let's do that. So first of all, let's write our 7 squared right there, and we're multiplying it by... Now, in parentheses right here, we have 3 squared, and 3 squared is equal to 9, right? So here we're going to have 9 raised to the second power over here, okay? So again, we have the same exponent, but different bases, okay? So in order to multiply these together, all you're going to do is multiply your bases together. So we're going to do 7 times 9. And then since we have a 2 here and a 2 here, you just raise the whole thing right there to the second power, okay? So first of all, 7 times 9, that's equal to 63. Right? So we have 63 raised to the second power. Okay, So you can leave your answer like this, 63 raised to the second power. Or if you plug that into your calculator, you would get that this is equal to 3,969. Okay? So either one of these answers right here, boom, would be acceptable. 
So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.